Dulch Earth House near Tarland in Aberdeenshire, Scotland. Northeast of Tarland on the B911 road is Kulsh Earth House. This 2000 year old Iron Age site can be safely accessed and is in the care of Historic Environment Scotland. A report in 1874 states there were two earth houses at Kulsh. Similar structures can be found in other Celtic countries. Widespread in Brittany, France are soutrains a French word meaning below ground. In Cornwall, England, similar chambers are called fugus, a Cornish word for cave. Ireland also has a high number of these enigmatic passages. The mainstream view of earth houses were for farming communities domestic use. They would have been used as cellars for storing goods, grain and food in dry cool conditions. Storage capacity was big, so they may have been used by a small community. Earth houses are constructed entirely or mostly underground. They are attached or next to the house above ground. The passage may have had ritual usage for the local people. Kulsh was rediscovered in 1853. All the earth infill was extracted. The structure was a large feat of engineering, skill and labour for our ancient ancestors. The site is a long curving crescent shaped tunnel that has been cut into the side of a hill. It is 14.5 metres long, is stone walled and has a stone slab roof. The south entrance is 0.5 metres wide, expanding to 1.8 metres wide at the back north east wall and 1.8 metre high. Two cut marks can be found on the north wall. One is at the left hand side, just inside the chamber. Earth houses have different designs in different areas of Scotland. Tayside has large earth houses with the roof at ground level. The northern islands have small chambers which go underground. The Aberdeenshire structures fall in between these two extremes. The Northern Scottish Chambers seem to be the earliest, circa 2400 BC. The South and East of Scotland Chambers were erected around the 1st and 2nd century AD. The later dates mirror the time when the Romans appeared in Scotland. Excavation shows the chambers were deliberately filled in or destroyed at the start of the 2nd century AD, same time the Romans left Scotland. Early excavations found two cup marked stones built into the wall, a broken urn, ox bones, a collection of smooth pebbles and a large bead. My alternative theory is these passages may be womb tombs into Mother Earth. The shaman and community members would enter the chamber for purposes such as healing, meditation, initiation, communicating with Mother Earth or the ancestors. Ceremonies celebrating the harvest and planting of crops may have taken place. At the back of the passage is what looks like four figures incorporated into the stonework. Four torsos and heads can be made out. Could these represent the spirit guardians of the site? The cut marked stones may have originated from a standing stone, rock art panel or a stone circle. Perhaps our ancestors intentionally filled in the chambers when they knew this era was coming to an end. The Romans coming to Scotland may have had an influence in this. Please subscribe for regular content. Feel free to share the videos, leave any comments, questions and suggestions. And thanks for watching. And a big thanks to our ancient ancestors.